Peace and Black Power family, superstars, we're holding it down. God bless Biafra and God bless Odudua. Breaking news, breaking news. I bring to you breaking news. The UK has finally placed a travel ban on President Buhari, the so-called president of Nigeria. Um, this was announced, but in a respectful way, it was covered. They told him he could not return to the UK until the situations in Nigeria is resolved. So the citizens, you know, of Britain, those, the Biafrans, the Duduwas, thank you very much for the rally that you did on Friday. It really helped because um, a communication was sent out to the British press where they said um, this time around, President Buhari will be chased out of his so-called um, Abuja house if he returned to the UK. Uh, because he has been killing the Igbos, the Biafrans, and also uh, committing genocide in the southeast. And they went in the southwest with all the kidnappings taking place. So thank you very much for the great work for us here in the UK, those in America, those in Ireland. You know, we've been doing a great job. Uh, Buhari will no longer return to the United Kingdom for any medical help or medical assistance. If he needs a medical checkup, he must come back to Nigeria and have it there. The days of running back to, you know, to Europe, to messing about, you know, enjoying life with yourself and your children, those days are gone. They are long gone. Right now, the Igbos, the Nigerians, the Yorubas in the diaspora, we are saying enough of that. You have to remain in that zoo that you have created. That shithole that you have created. You remain there, you whine, you dine, and if you get sick, you get treated there. That's the new rules now for those people. We cannot be allowing them to be going around the whole world enjoying the best of life. With our own money, with our own oil money, they travel around the whole world, they go to Dubai. During their bed days, the bed day for their children, they fly to Dubai, they buy gold, diamonds, and all that. When their daughters or, or, or sons are having weddings, they rub, you know, they travel around the whole world to do shopping in Dubai with your own hard currency, with the money gotten from the land of Biafra and the Middle Belt. Enough is enough. Let them remain in Nigeria. This travel ban came at the right time. You've been killing people in the Southeast. You've been committing genocide at your old age. Uh, a man of your age, at least by now, you should be showing grace to little children, to the youths. But at, at 82 years, you still want to cling onto power. You still believe on clinging onto power. You know, lo and behold, you have at least maximum of five more years on this earth. What happens to love? Why can't you treat your neighbors as yourself? Those in the southeast and the southwest, they provide the wealth of Nigeria. You know that. Yet you all deem it fit to come to those lands and steal their resource and also to chase away the people from the land, to send the Fulanese to the Igbo land, to take over the Igbo land, to take over the Yoruba land. Despite they are the breadwinners of Nigeria. My Lord and my God, but thank God for the UK for listening to us. This ban will continue thanks to the, you know, to our great fighters, our freedom fighters, our protesters, you know, that went all across UK yesterday and they protested. They demanded this man be sent back home. This man must not be allowed to come to the UK to enjoy the best of medical care medical centers and all that stuff while the people back home can't even access none right now in nigeria they even pray for three square meals imagine someone begging god for a single meal in a day they can't even afford it they cannot afford a single meal in a day they pray to god for food you know, this is why we're telling them this change has to come. Because us here in the UK, there is nothing like prayers for food. You know what I mean? The, the food is here. The job is here. If you want to work, you will work. If you want to buy a house, you can get the mortgage. If you want a loan from the bank, it is yours. If you want to do business, you can do it. Because the structure is based on truth. There is transparency, honesty, accountability across Europe. 
even in the americas but nigeria where those who are the breadwinners of the resource those who make those cake that they share in nigeria don't even have access to any you know governmental parastatals you will name it all the governmental positions in nigeria are run by a particular tribe the fulanis yet they talk about one nigeria yet they want to kill you when you talk about you know going back to your own original form the biafran form the oduduwa form going back to the way it was before the white man came they kill you they maim you they they commit genocide all in the name of one nigeria but in real sense we don't practice one nigeria so this is my question why is it that they keep saying one nigeria one nigeria but we all know it is the fulani that run that country and they've run into the gutters now because nothing is working in nigeria nothing at all is working in that zoo you know so it's a fallacy to say, oh, we have one Nigeria. Which one Nigeria is that? The Yorubas want to go. The Igbos want to go. And you keep saying one Nigeria. Even the Middle Belt, they want to go. So thank God for this. I mean, this is a welcome development. I'm, I'm so happy about this. Uh, thanks to the UK for doing what is right. Uh, the Nigerian so-called uh, presidency, they mentioned that, oh, his medical trip was postponed. We all know why. We know the reason why he will never set his foot in UK again until he passes away. He will never set his foot into the UK again. The travel ban will remain. Mark my words. The travel ban will remain. Let him go to Saudi Arabia if he, if he wants to. To his um, so-called you know, jihadist friends. Not to the UK. We will send him back. Thanks for the ban that was being placed on this man. This is a breaking news. So I love you all, Superstars Media, we're holding it down. God bless Biafra and God bless the Dua. God bless His Excellency, Mazin Abekano, a man who has done so much for this country, Biafra. He has done so much to restore Biafra unto us. And in these few days, when he has kept the silence, we could see his handwork. Umwaka, children of handwork. He's doing it. You know, his silence is even more loud when he speaks. As we speak now, you know, all the revelations are coming to pass. CNN now speaks about Biafra. TB Joshua, who said over his dead body will, you know, Nigeria break up. Look at him now. Rest in peace to TB Joshua. This is what we're talking about, you know. A real man of God, when, when he speaks, things come to pass. Thanks to Mazin Amikano for your great work. We love you. We adore you forever. You are our savior. You are the Moses of Biafra. Peace. I'm out. Superstars Media. I love you all. Please subscribe, subscribe. Let's get this information going. We are based in the diaspora and I'll be bringing you real news as it comes straight to our door. Buari is now on a on UK travel ban. He cannot come in here. He will never come in here anymore. He will never step his foot to England or Britain anymore. Peace them out. Check me out. Superstars Media. Uh. Lord Logan. Bloomington Lord Logan. Here in this wild flora show. 1914 on Bangor Mansion. It's what we dying for. Three nations to one nation. Ever since annihilation. Nepotism is nonsense. You and you clap your hand, clap your hands. Biafra gonna call and clap your hand, clap your hands. Uh. Biafra, Odudua, we're free now. Freedom is gonna come, we're free now. Yeah. <laughs>
Superstars Media. Freedom's gonna come. Yeah. Yeah. Freedom's gonna come. I'm fighting for Biafra. Fighting for Odudua. Yeah. Yeah. Freedom's gonna come. Now the Kano is the leader. Yeah. We fight for liberation of the people, of the nation. Yeah. Yeah. Freedom's gonna come. Freedom's gonna come. Salty dog. Uh-huh. Superstar, what the fuck have you created?